Yo, what's going on, dude? So we're back with another episode in our full BT6 playthrough. And in today's episode, we'll be continuing with our balanced black border. So in today's episode, we're going to be playing uh, alternate balloon trials because in yesterday's episode, we ended up beating half cash mode. So for alternate balloon trials, I'm going to be sticking with Sada as my hero because Sada in all alternate balloon trials is just like the best hero to use because she can deal with the early game camel balloons as well as she can deal with the early game leads as well. And because we have a free dart monkey, we might as well take advantage of our free dart monkey as well, just to get a little bit of extra pops from our dart monkey, right? So it's not gonna help out a ton, but it definitely should help out a little bit. Now, what strategy do we wanna go for here? Well, actually, you know what? Um, we haven't done the monkey buccaneer in a while. Let's go ahead and grab a monkey buccaneer and let's go ahead and start going for a merchantman. Because you guys already know, if you guys have been around the channel for a while, you guys know that the merchantman strategy is definitely my favorite farming strat out of all the farming strats in, in balloons. Um, on top of that, we're going to get that early game camel detection from our monkey buccaneer, as well as we're going to be, be able to get some early game lead popping power too. Now, it's probably not going to be a good idea to solely rely on our monkey buccaneer for the early game. Um, we'll probably end up grabbing ourselves like a tax shooter probably on round 18. If I'm not mistaken, round 18 is when we should be able to afford our first um, merchantman. And then after we grab our first merchantman, we'll go ahead and grab a grape shots as well as we'll grab hot shots. Now I'm almost debating whether or not I should grab a grape shots first. Um, we need to activate Sada's level three to deal with those lead balloons. Oh, that was a little bit close. I got a little bit distracted here. So round 10, we had two lead balloons that we have to have to deal with, but because we had our Sada, we didn't have to worry too much about them. So we need to make sure that we're playing, paying really close attention here. That way we don't end up uh, losing any lives to uh, lead balloons. But while we're saving up to buy our merchantman, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support on the channel. You guys are absolutely crushing it. That being said, um, if you guys have any feedback for the channel, as far as like what you guys would like to see, or if you guys want me to like mix up the content a little bit more, more, uh, please feel free to let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely take a look at it um, that way you guys can have a little bit of a better viewing experience and stuff because I mean the, the full BBT6 playthrough is going to take a while so if you guys want to see something a little bit different again please feel free to let me know and I'll definitely make it happen right so a couple things to mix up the content a little bit we could do challenges we could do like map editor stuff where I either check out maps created by you guys or I create maps myself. And then another thing that we, we could do is, of course, uh, play the weekly boss event. Or, or we could even do the weekly Odyssey event as well. But it's highly dependent on what you guys would like to see. But all right, I was talking and I completely skipped over the fact that we bought our first merchantman. Now we're going to be going for a second one. So for our second monkey buccaneer, I ended up grabbing another hot shot. So that way we don't have to worry too much about, about the balloons. And we have a little bit of extra popping power to help out our Sada especially up against lead balloons. All right, round 29, here is another merchant. Now, um, one thing I'm debating on doing is I'm debating on going for a, a monkey pirates because if I go for a monkey pirates, that's going to be a early, easy round 40, right? But the only problem is if I go for a monkey pirates, I would have to sell one of my merchantmen up top because obviously the best spot for our monkey buccaneer or our monkey pirates would be uh, this spot right here, right? But nonetheless, I don't think we're gonna bother with the monkey pirates. Instead, I'm just gonna go for a overdrive. Now, uh, actually, you know what? Instead of going for the overdrive, I'm gonna go and grab one more monkey buccaneer and upgrade to a merchant because we still have six rounds until round 40. And we should have more than enough time to buy another merchantman as well as buy our overdrive with an alchemist, right? All right, round 35, here is our fourth merchantman. Now uh, let's go ahead and start going for our overdrive because now our star is starting to struggle a little bit. So uh, we want to have a little bit more popping power in the center of the map. Now, obviously, it isn't going to have a camera detection uh, until we buy a, a village. But just having a overdrive in the center of the map is going to help us out a ton up against like Moab balloons and just normal balloons in general, right? So there's our overdrive. Let's go and grab fast shooting. And then we'll also grab even faster shoot shooting as well. So now that we have all of this, the next thing I want to do, um, I want to go ahead and grab myself the village. Or no, no, no. Let's grab ourselves the alchemist first. And with the alchemist, we'll go ahead and place it right here as far down as we can get it. And then hopefully that ends up reaching. Yeah, it does. Cool. And then we'll grab stronger acid, perishing potions, and it looks like we're not going to be able to get stronger stimulant for round 40. So uh, let's go ahead and prepare to activate our Sada level 3. Um, we really didn't even need to activate it. I kind of like fat fingered there. But that's exactly why I wanted to go for the Alchemist and uh, Tax Zone or Tax Shooter 
combo. Now let's go ahead and grab ourselves the village with a radar scanner to alleviate some of uh, Sada's worries here. And then the next thing I want to do, um, I don't know. Uh, I was just gonna grab primary mentor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's grab primary mentoring. And now that we have primary mentoring, let's go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of lead popping power with um a ring of fire. And then we'll go ahead and place uh, the ring of fire up here. We'll upgrade up the hot shots with long range and super range. Now, the reason why I went for primary me mentoring first is that way we could buy the first two tiers for free, right? I mean, you can't be free of up upgrades, right? Now, at round 47, the next thing I want to do, um, I want to go ahead and grab myself another attack. I think we should have just enough room down here. Wait, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I want to position this as far to the right as we can get it. Um, and then let's go and grab ourselves another ring of fire. Um, that way we have quite a bit of popping power. Now for round 63, um, I'm gonna want to buy the tax zone, and I don't think we'll struggle with affording it. Um, even though we did spend quite a bit of money on the monkey village and the two ring of fires. But the two ring of fires were definitely a necessity to help out our attack with lead balloons, right? Now, ideally, I could grab myself like an MIB, but unfortunately, if I wanted to go for an MIB, I would have to move my Sada over here, though. Which, um, maybe when we play, uh, no, 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 um, I think when I play on Chimps, um, I think I want to try to go for the Infernal Ring, because the Infernal Ring would be a really solid tower to have in the middle of the map, and we could also grab ourselves, like, other towers as well. Now, I'm not exactly sure what combo I want to use for Balanced Chimps yet, but there's a lot of different things that we can do, right? Like, I almost want to do, like, a Tax Shooter, um, Infernal Ring... So a Infernal Ring and a Tax Zone combo. Um, or like a, an Infernal Ring and Glue Gunner combo. Both of those would end up working out really, really well, right? But one thing about going with that combo is that we would need to uh, do like that. Like that would actually be pretty rough. Maybe instead of using Sada, um, I'll use a different hero. So instead of using Sada, I could use like Adora or I could use Etienne. And then, then if I did that, that would actually help us out a ton, right? Because then we could like place like a ring of fire over here and we wouldn't have to worry about it not having camera detection because it'd have that global camo with Etienne, which might end up working out a little bit better. Um, let me see. So around 58, let's go and grab ourselves another ring of fire. Um, I didn't mean to upgrade to the bottom pathway, but whatever. We've gone too far to turn back now, right? Um, let's go and grab ourselves another um tax shooter and we'll upgrade it up to another ring of fire. And then one thing I kind of want to do. Um, uh, you know what would be a really good idea? Uh, what if we grabbed ourselves like a elite defender and we place the elite defender up here? Um, well, actually, uh, the elite, the elite defender would be a good play, but, um, instead of going with the elite defender, I think I want to go for the middle pathway because the middle pathway tier five, once you upgrade it to the tier five, I think it can pop leads, right? Yeah. So let's go with the middle pathway sniper mutt monkey because the uh, elite stun sniper is just a really cool tower to use, right? And then hopefully I I'm not wrong here and I'll upgrade it up to even faster firing. If I need to, I can grab it in Al Alchemist to like give it lead popping power, but I don't think we're going to need to worry about that because if I'm not mistaken, it can pop leads, right? I right, so about 66. Everything's going absolutely perfect. Um, what another thing I'm debating on doing is what if, um, after we grab the elite sniper, what if we went for like a pirate Lord? Um, that would actually be a pretty solid idea, right? All right, round 70, we are extremely close to being able to buy our Elite Sniper. And you know what? Um, I think uh, to add to our popping power a little bit, I think I want to go for a monkey sub. Um, it's a little bit of a different combo. I was originally thinking about like grabbing some like Moab Mollers, kind of similar to what I did for half cash mode. But I think a monkey sub would be a little bit of a better investment. Um, but we need to save up enough money in order to buy it. Now, one thing we could do is we could uh, upgrade one of our monkey buccaneers up to a flavor trades. Then we could sell all of these towers, including this infernal ring here. And then we could probably grab ourselves like a sub commander, right? That would be so cool to get a sub commander uh, on this map. And I think it's definitely possible. The grand total between all these towers, we have a roughly around a 13,000, um, maybe like 21,000 if we also sell our flavor trades too. So um, I think if we actually sold all these towers right now, we could buy our sub commander. So you know what? Let's actually do it. Um, let's sell all of these towers. And then uh, let's go ahead and buy our sub commander. Yeah, dude, I think we can afford it. If, if we can't, we'll definitely be able to afford it. There we go. So I was a little bit worried that we'd be a little bit short. My math was a little bit off. 
but luckily it wasn't and we have ourselves a sub commander so now that we have sub commander i don't think we're gonna have to worry about losing at all like we have the attack zone in the middle of the map but we have the elite sniper up here in the top as well as we have the sub commander down here in the bottom this is such this is such an overkill strat guys but then again who would think about going for a sub commander on balanced right oh i'm so dumb but then again it's always fun to like try different things in btv6 and like a sub commander on balance it just sounded like a fun thing to do let's go and grab it uh, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves let's go ahead and grab ourselves an armor piercing dart and we should be able to afford a one more monkey sub um before round 80 um i don't think we'll be able to grab another um armor piercing darts but that's perfectly fine because i mean we have a more than enough of popping power just with these three type two tier fives on top of that we also have some uh, ring of fighters too yeah look at our sub commander just the melt that zomg guys round 80 here is another arm armor piercing dart so now we have even more popping power up against the bad or not the babbling but the uh, zomgs yeah the sub commander was definitely the play now this is definitely not a combo that we can do on chimps because we can't give our sub commander um lead popping power but it's fun to do it on a little bit of a different game mode right but all right dudes so that's gonna do it for the video if you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys hit that like button also if you guys are new around here don't forget to subscribe as well because i do upload quite a bit of btd6 content but anyways dudes again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one